Hey everyone, this is Elder Jones talking to you from Lyon. So it's been a crazy week and I don't really have time to write an email, so I decided to do a voice recording instead today. Um, it's been a crazy and great day. We have been running around cleaning piso. It's been fairly tranquilo. We went to eat with members from Medio Dia and get a haircut because the daughter of the family is a haircutter. And that was great. Um, other than that, we were running around looking at some shops. Then we went and hit a locutorial or a computer store kind of place where you can rent time on a computer, but to do scholarships for BYU. Um, and, and yeah, that was pretty much what we did today. This week has been crazy with zone conference and running around, um, doing different things like that. Um, Zone Conference was great. We had it up in Oviedo, which is in Estudias. I was able to get that package you sent me, Mom. Um, the origami kit with the chocolate, the box of chocolates, and we are continuing to enjoy both of them. I've been, it's been great to have something like origami to do in the nighttime. I've already made a bunch of different things, like, even on the bus today, I was just fiddling with the receipt and I turned it into one of the little uh, ruya. That's the word in Spanish. I can't remember the word in English. But the very simple bird that's in the beginning. Um, and that has been great. Um, I think I'll, I'll try to send you a picture of a bunch of the things that I've been able to make. Um, I'm also glad that you guys were able to get my box, and I really do hope that everything was in there with all you guys' gifts for Christmas. I I don't know what happened to that box. I, it felt pretty sturdy when they handed it to me, to me to send, but I guess it was a little beat up. It got a little beat up. But anyways, um, other than that... Um, yeah, I mean, our week was great. This past Sunday was crazy because Hiberto, um, he, his whole family came to church and it was great to see all the kids and things like that. They got enjoy primary and young men's and the members were great with them, everyone talking to them and inviting them to things. Uh, and that was wonderful to see. We are also able to meet with a bunch of new people this week. Everyone from all investigators like Brees, we found out pass by, or um, Felix, a Dominican guy that's working a little far away. So it'll be a little bit more time before we can meet with him again. But there's a lot of great people here. Um, and that's crazy that Josh is going over to Paris. I hope he enjoys it. Um, yeah, so going on with the questions, with the different appointments that we had, nuestras citas fueron muy buenos, um, we had a lot of fun in our lessons this week, we were able to teach with the Spirit and the Lord was able to help us out, I mean, we were failed a bunch, but that's just part of the missionary work here in Spain, so it wasn't too bad though, we were able to get a bunch of lessons done, um, we are constantly trying to teach and find. That's one of the things that with the mission is that if you aren't trying to find people and you're as well as teach people, you're not going to have people to teach. So we're trying to make that constant effort to do both. Um, and advice for the missionaries in our area? I would say just keep pressing forward. It works hard and there's different difficulties depending on where you are, like here we have the Medio Dia where during the middle of the day absolutely everyone is gone, the streets are empty, everyone's in their houses, but it means that we can only do proselyting in the morning as well as in the night time, kind of like you guys, just 6 to 9.30 is what we have about, um, which it sounds like you guys have a fairly similar situation, but just want you guys to know that no matter what, Lord will do his work. As you search for the inspiration from God, he will 
lead you to the things that you need to do, and no effort is wasted, as it says in Preach My Gospel. And that's what I would say, just keep working hard and making sure you're close to the Lord, and that discouragement will fail, fade as you just have that excitement with the work, even if it is just visiting members. Um, so I think the fate, well, one of the very good things that happened this past week is that we actually bought Thethina today, which is a food specifically from Ham from Leon. They only have it here. It's kind of like jamón serrano, so it's a dried meat. But basically, they took a whole leg of a cow and they dry it kind of in a way like jamón serrano. So it's kind of the marriage between jamón serrano and beef jerky. And it's really delicious. Um, I'll try to send you a picture of that as well. Um, let's see. But I think one, the favorite thing that I had this week was just church. It was great. We, it's one of the first times here in this area that I've gone to church. So I was able to get to meet all the members a bit more. So I have a bunch of things to meet with them this week. And Huberto, it was great to see him there. And it, it's just wonderful. To be able to to be there and take the sacrament, it was also the branch conference here. So we had a bunch of the state, the district presidency, and one of the mission presidents counselors. The one that I actually don't know. The other one's Hermano Calderon from Alcala, but it was cool to get to meet him as well. Um, this week we were able to eat with a bunch of members. Like today we ate with the Kachigwai family. Um, and we were able to eat with members like Jesus, um, that sounds kind of funny in English. Um, we were also able to meet, eat with this, the Rivera family and a few, a few others. We had several eating appointments this week and that was great. Um, our address is, uh, what is it? Calle Cantareras, Canta... Cantareras, something 14. like that. Calle Cantareras 14 for a. Um, you might have to look on Google Maps to kind of see where the Piso is. It's a big orange building there near the Casca, but that's where we're living now. It's it's a great Piso, two floors. We have a marble staircase in between the two. It's it's really nice. It used to be one of those only pieces here in this zone. Um, and for the week, I think my favorite scripture so far has been in 2 Nephi. Um, I had a good study of that a few days ago, and it's really eye-opening how, how well it teaches about the opposition, Jesus Christ, as well as the story of Adam and Eve. It basically explains to us the reason why all that happened and how we can become closer to God and Jesus Christ. Um, and yes, I can see your Facebook posts. Um, I generally don't look at them very often because whatever we're using on using Facebook, it's specifically for online proselyting, but yes, I can see them. So I was able to see Brandon doing a spirit pull, Laura winning our archery thing, so, and that's great. I, I love seeing what you guys are doing. Um, and I love you all. It's been a wonderful week here in Leon, and this next week's going to be even better. We're going to go on air cambios over to Pomferrada, which is over to the west of here. So that's going to be a lot of fun tomorrow morning. We're going to be there for the day, then come back for district meeting. Um, yeah, I think that's that's really what the big thing that we're having this week, other than we're going to be going out to our district leaders Pueblo, visiting some other members, and having a lot of lessons. Like, we have a lesson here in about 15, well, 13 minutes here, right at the end of P-Day. So that will be great, this Equatorian investigator that's just gone back for vacation. So it'll be a lot of fun, and I hope you guys have a great week. You feel the spirit, come closer to God and
you're able to feel that happiness in your lives. Have a great time. Bye.